Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for coming. Um, for my husband's side of the family, I cannot believe I'm saying husband. <laughs> and for my uh, parents' side, uh, I'm so honored that you're you can come and stay even this late. Um, Josh and I have been on a journey, and what I can say is this has been God orchestrated um, because my I'm going to be fast. My, my journey of love, I've never dated anybody in high school. I was very independent, strong black woman, <laughs> you know. And then Josh came into my life and like um, one of my, Mo said, he broke down the walls and made me softer. And I really don't take that lightly. I want to appreciate. But most of all, right now, I just want to take my focus and say thank you to everybody that has made it here. Um, I have to say thank you so much to my, um, my parents-in-law. I can say I have the best parents-in-law. <laughs> and um, I don't take that lightly. And um, some of you, I don't know what your parents-in-law are like, but mine are definitely, <laughs> I'm crowning them because they're so caring, they're so welcoming. Um, mama Eve is like a, a friend kind of mama, you know, she's not afraid to tell me where I go wrong. Um, when the car ride together, we can laugh and just have a good time. And then we have PJ. <laughs> who is very, um, he's like, daughter, are you okay? And he's very welcoming to me, and I want to thank you. Um, and he's not afraid to splurge on me. So thank you so much. Um, I love you so much. And then to my parents, I want to thank my dad for being so supportive in my um, endeavors, like soccer, like he said. Um, whatever I embarked on, I feel like he was always there to like take the push. And so I just want to thank you so much for being so present and being so encouraging and supportive in everything that I um, embarked on doing. And then my beautiful mama. <laughs> um, everybody knows that I look like you and so we're twins. Um, everything that I am right now, I am going to say that 80% um, of that is you, mom. Um, you embody strength. You embody I don't know, like I haven't seen anyone as courageous, as brave, as tenacious as you. Um, you're a go-getter. Like when my mom says she's going to do something, hell, come hell or water, she's going to do it. And that's something that I've definitely taken on. And I'm still trying to um, perfect that art, but definitely you have been such an anchor. You've been such an encourager, and I look up to you, mom. Um, yeah, and you look so beautiful in that blue dress. <laughs> um, yeah, and to Joshua, thank you so much for loving me. Thank you so much for just giving me this opportunity to be a wife. And I promise that I'm not going to disappoint. I'm going to love you till death to us part. Amen. And I want to thank my girls. <laughs> So these ladies have literally been just, I'm kneeling down for you guys, this is the thing. <laughs> um, you guys have been so supportive. You literally, um, I called, two of, two of them were in Uganda already, but mo like four of them had to literally fly out. And with the COVID restrictions and Uganda is in lockdown and they're in second phase of COVID, they made everything possible so to make it here and i do not take that for granted i love you guys i feel like i have like a sisterhood that cannot be broken um even by josh you know <laughs> so i love you so much for sarah kinsani uh patrice cinda jackie jackie and um of course mo thank you so much for coming and cheers to a, a future Amen. Thank you, Joanne. Um, thank you, all guests. Um, Nabakera, Queen, uh, Nabak Nabagerica. Nabagerica. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, all pastors and leaders and family members, you know, uh, I appreciate you being here today. It means so much for us. Uh, so many people wanted to come, but 
because of the restrictions we weren't able but I know you guys are out there watching and I just want to say I love you we love you thank you for the wishes I've been getting them on my phone I'm excited for this new journey of life called marriage with me and my wife you know what I'm saying uh, I'm just so excited that I have this opportunity to to be someone that God has called to to just show the generation who has been lied to about marriage there's a misconception that it's not fun there's a misconception that the ring means a chain there's a misconception that it's bondage and it's quarrelsome and there's no joy in it and the only joy is when you go out to the club and you find someone and you sleep with them for one night I'm excited to show that this thing called marriage is God's idea and God's idea is a fun idea yeah. so thank you for standing with us in this um, in this union uh, Pastor Luaga and Mama Jo you've been so good to me I don't think I can have any argument or any confusion with you guys you have been so easygoing so open to welcome me into your family even if sometimes I don't know everything I should do <laughs> according to culture I, I did a mistake here earlier but it's in the past I've learned my lesson <laughs> David thank you so much Debbie I know you're watching thank you so much you guys really uh, welcomed me into the family um, my boys my brothers gentlemen this is it this is how you lead so I'm waiting on y'all next I see my boy Philip over here and his fiance over there come on right I'm excited for you guys then we have Jojo next and then we have someone else next I'm not gonna say names and then you know so this is the way to go guys and I'm I'm just proud that you came to support me it makes me a a very happy happy man ladies thanks for being Joanne's friend uh, you're all the same that's why you that's why you get together some of them haven't even met each other but like they got together and all you hear is <laughs> just laughing non-stop so Thanks for being Joanne's friend. You know, all those ladies, they're young, but they're serious women, just like Joe. They're all, most of them are bio majors, got degrees. They're not playing around. So, gentlemen, hmm? you also better <laughs> be serious. So, uh, just thank you for coming. And then I have to give my greatest honor to my father and my mother. Pastor Jackson and Pastor, can we just, just clap for those? Come on, I need you to help me out and give some honor to the people who made everything possible today. We, I honor you, me and Joanne honor you. You have set the standard so high. When they hear you, you know, I'm not going to take a long time. When they, I remember one time I was acting bad, me and my sisters, and my dad decided that he had had a, enough time trying to discipline us. He was going to show us this time not gonna tell us what to do so he drove us in his big car after church it was a Saturday we did something bad and everyone's quiet because we know dad's angry and then the next day Sunday after he preached preached preach you know just got us in the car I think mom was there I'm not sure he got all three of us in the car and he drove us and we're like where are we going like whispering to ourselves pastor he hasn't even talked to us what are we goodness what if he leaves us here uh, then we go to the ghetto 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 um, not the best part of town and we go into these neighborhoods and you see poverty you see struggle and you just like why are we here this is not okay and then finally he stops gets out the car gets us out and he said you see this little house here and it was a mud hut basically it was very small says, I used to pay 15,000 shillings a month to live here. And I thought I had made it. I thought I was living the best life. I mean, that lesson stuck with me. Number one, I got to be grateful for everything that I have. Because it's not easy. It's not just a lifestyle. It's not just, oh, I get to throw money. No, it's because someone worked hard for that. Number two, the hard work, if it's focused, can get you anywhere in life. And he's a testament to that. The hardest worker I've ever seen in my life. 
and most people kind of see him that the tough guy that wants to get things done they don't know his he's a very happy man and has a jolly heart and you know recently because of the calling that God placed on his life to be a man of war and to take on a mantle to fight you know things that have been coming in the country for years people don't know the other side of my dad and sometimes it makes me upset <laughs> because he is such a great man he loves his wife he loves his children he gives he serves and most people never see that and so dad I just want to honor you for being the example that you are I would not listen I think Pastor Sarada talked about agape love. I see that in the love that my parents have for me. Because at mistake after mistake after mistake, you hear everyone here talk, right? <laughs> I wasn't always this guy. God had to do something in my life. And my dad would always come back and say, you got this. Come back and you got this. I fall, he says, get up, son, you're not a failure. I said, Dad, but like, I'm messing up. I'm not doing good. He says, get up. You're not a failure. Then I fail again. He says, get up. You're not a failure. Then I fail again. He says, get up. You're not a... I mean, what kind of love is that? That he believed in me even when I didn't believe in myself. Thank you, Dad. You're the best father in the world. I don't care who says what. I got the best dad. <laughs> I got the best dad. And now, I'm going to brag because I also got the best mom. <laughs> Mama Eva. People don't know. This is the thing. People don't know dad is soft and people don't know mom is tough. <laughs> but mom, you've given me an example of the woman I want to marry. Faithful, loyal, understanding the way you love dad. Dad doesn't have a lot of friends that he meets with so much because he's so focused on what God has called him to do. But he got mom. And as I leave home, you know, Liz is not home, Jackie's not home, I'm okay because I know mom got dad and dad got mom. You know, this is a, it was funny, like I think a couple of days ago I was home and dad is my mom are just like walking and talking and hugging. You know, with everything that's going on, the wedding planning, the rehearsal, all these crazy, crazy things. And they, they have the stress of the world, but they're still ha having time to, you know, love on each other. It shows, yo, this is what, 30 years in marriage? And you're still like this? You know, so it's just an example. And mom, it's because of you, it's because of your hard work, the things that you do behind the scenes that no one else sees. No one else sees the hard work of Pastor Eve. But she, can we just clap for Pastor Eve? Come on, somebody. You know, help me out. This lady is amazing with what you do at the school. You give to kids. You give to families. You give, you, I mean, you give, you give, you give. You, that's why, as Pastor Loaga says, also me, I got to give her. Because when she gives, also me, I receive. So that kind of blessing is because of you, Mom. You've been such a great example. You've been so strong. You've been so faithful. You've been just like that. You're saying, my son is going to be amazing. My son, you know, is going to reach lives. You spoke that into existence when everyone else thought so. So, my parents, I love you. you just let me make some money so I can get you a car, okay? <laughs> but it'll be Range Rover 20, 20, 20, 62. <laughs> I love you guys. I love everyone. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Can we just clap for ourselves? I know it's late. We're done. I love you. We love you. God bless you. And my wife. My wife. I said my wife. Let's go launch this company. Amen.